kill the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with the same height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 228 pounds. Fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, missed on that one. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. But not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. And they separate. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and he landed the right hand there. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank. Hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Choi. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, nice. Nice body kick. Plus right hand is true. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That's a big strike right there. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Throws the right hand there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Trying to double up on that jab. Flush with that right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Nice. Oh, collar tie. Here's the clinch. Big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Knee coming to the body, it's blocked. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. 
points. And they separate. Mark's in the collar tie now. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. A single collar tie. Well, you better start doing something defensively. A lot of these knees are landing to the bottom. I mean, and it's going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and is just driving these into your body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes off. Oh, nice punch there by Choi. And there comes the separation now. Oh, single collar tie here. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And that one certainly found the target. Nice kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Round two is next. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Big call for punch lands. Now we get back to range. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Nice punch lands over the top. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Oh! 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 I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, he got him! He got him! Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Close guard. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Ground and pound strike is true. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhook somewhere. Yeah, he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in a half guard position on the mat. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Serve him up. Go get him. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. 
Minnesota. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right hand on point. Well, at this point, he's gotta be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight. and. Largely has gotten it done with his striking time. Got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judge's mind. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That kick blocked by Chor. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice straight punch. And they separate. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. 15 seconds. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Takedown defense holds up. Round three next. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With Porter, they will relay that message to their fighter better in the green round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Dig and kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. That was the end. Nice strike. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Chor. Connects with a right. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Big leg kick lands. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, single collar tie now. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Knee strike there, interrupted by Choi. 
Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Got the single collar tie. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice jab. Able to check the high kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. Joy gets hit with a kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything slide. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'll tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands in the middle. Choi's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one and it gets blocked. the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, eight seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories.